The other day, I was showing my kid how to use an app, and he accidentally disabled the camera and the microphone for the app. And so today I'm showing you what might happen if you're in Zoom. When you try to open a meeting and your, let's say your camera or your microphone is shut off, they actually tell you how to re-enable it. You just need to go with settings, privacy camera. But uh, that's a little confusing because you actually need to go to settings, scroll down to the app you're trying to enable, which is Zoom, and go into privacy and camera, I think. So let's go try that. I think the instructions are a little wrong. Uh, let me... So go into settings. And I could go into privacy, I think, but I'm not. See, there's privacy. Instead, I'm going to go scroll all the way down to Zoom. And over here, I could just enable it by going directly to the app at the bottom of settings and enabling it. But I could have followed the directions that were uh, displayed in the, the app itself. It said to go into settings and go into privacy. Mm, there was privacy. So go into settings and then privacy. And then let's say camera. And then you can choose which camera app which app you want to enable the camera for likewise you can do it for microphone so there's two ways to enable a setting where's microphone oh my gosh and so you can see some of them are disabled like zoom and i can just enable them all at once I didn't know about this, but you can see um, they show you how to do it pretty easily when it's not enabled on your your iPhone. 